In this video of the Mod M1, I'm going to discuss the, uh, the LFO and the ADSR. I'll start, I'm going to use a sequencer to create some VCO noise. And there it is, okay. Now, we want to put the, uh, hook up the ADSR so it's not just constant tones. So we hook the gate output which is configured to the sequencer right now, to the gate input, which is configured to send to the ADSR, which comes out here. Now I'll plug in the ADSR into the VCA for the VCO. And here, now we have ADSR sound. Now, get a little bit fancier, we can use the LFO. Which I think is, uh, you know, we'll just turn it down a bit. To control the BWM. There's a square wave coming out of there right now, so. And it gives it that nice phasey sound. And there it is. Now the, the LFO has some pretty interesting stuff. This, uh, this is a noise generator that rides on a sine wave. It's kind of hard to hear on the PWM, but you can really hear it like if you just hook up the, uh, you disconnect the VCO for a second and hook up the LFO. To it, you can hear it. We'll just switch it over to the VCO zero to five. So, okay, I'm gonna change the step. That's kind of interesting. And the ramp. I don't have a combining plug here, but when you combine the two together, it's pretty cool. Anyway. So there's the LFO. Has other waveforms too, but the video could be a half an hour long. Okay, now the ADSR is uh, just standard normal stuff.
but the uh, gate in the sequencer, I don't know if this is standard or not, can adjust the, uh, the amount of length on there. The gate has a quite an effect on the uh, attack, of course. The gate is a percentage of the speed, so when you got it at 50%, it doesn't mean it stays the same length unless you turn the absolute button on. So it always stays the same, no matter how fast it's going. So there's the LFO and the ADSR.